Welcome everybody to another night of Tuesday Night Teach. Can I say to you that revival is so happening and it's so happening right now. <laughs> it's happening right here in the here and the now. 2023, we decreed and declare, is the year, hallelujah, as the word of the Lord, it is the year of the promises of God coming to pass. This is the year of those promises. And we're extraordinarily excited about what God is doing. But here's the thing, what he's already began. Yes, we're like just a few days into January, but the promises of God are already coming to pass. And so tonight's teach is very unique and is so super special to me. So super special. Why is it super special? Because revival is restoring families and it's restoring relationships truly. <laughs> it really is. So a little bit of backstory is that at about the age of five years old, there was this thing called sexual abuse that had taken place. And so because of that, there was no action taken and there was no protection thereafter. I was left to deal with the aftermath at five years old by myself. And so I began to um, have anger and I began to have a lot of resentment towards my mom. And so for years I held on to that. That was what I was wearing, you know, for many years until God began to heal and deliver me. And so tonight is so uniquely special because just yesterday I was so honored to be able to witness an encounter and to be a part of a very special, special moment that nobody but God could deliver. Nobody but God took, could anoint and could appoint. And after 40 years, my mom came and she wanted to ask forgiveness. That was her way of acknowledging and asking for forgiveness. You see, the enemy tried to rob her and tell her that she was a bad mother, among other things. But it's different when you're ready to deal with that. And she was ready on yesterday as God had positioned and ready her heart. It was so amazing. And so she was ready. And so tonight's message is about the power of forgiveness. The power, the true power of forgiveness. And just as I had the honor to witness a powerful, mighty move of God through this beautiful, amazing encounter that you also are getting to witness. The kingdom of God is not just about talk, but the kingdom of God is about power and demonstration. And so this revival is demonstrating the power of the true and the living God. And so get ready because you're getting ready to witness one of the most beautiful, beautiful encounters with God. I'll be back in just a few moments. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Whatever things that you no longer want in your life, I don't, get, I don't care if it was when you were three years old to present any offenses, any things people have said, any hurts, people have wounded you, offended you, that you're saying, I want it out, I don't want it there. It doesn't mean, you know, it was intentional, but if there's any open the door, the, the enemy comes in and he wants to rob us of happiness. He wants to rob us of our joy and our peace. He wants to rob us of the abundant life that God died for us to have. So when we renounce those things, he has to go. Now, what is he leading you to renounce? Everything that's not like him in my life. Ask them to take away. I had signs of vertigo. Like when I get up in the morning, it was like I, I couldn't steady myself. To take that away, because that's not a good feeling at all. And high blood pressure, diabetes. But I've just been praying on these things that God would. Just take them away. I know he can do it. As he said, you know, we have not because we ask not. Glory to God. Ah, Jesus, Jesus. I thought of an appeal that I needed to take in the appeal. Like come in the mail. It's like put it to the side. I said, well, you know, I have more, so I don't worry about it. But I looked all over the house for that little ball of pill, and I could not find it. I looked up heaven and I said, Lord, please help me to find this field. 
and you know God took me straight there. Amen. Now, Amen. I said, Jesus, Amen. Lord God. Praise God. Oh, you tell me, ain't, no, ain't nothing that God can't do. If he can't do it, it can't be done. Still working on the high blood pressure thing, and, you know, asking God to heal me. And the diabetes thing, thank God. I just thank God. So, you're positioning yourself. You're here. You know, position yourself where the, where, the, where the anointing of God is. So, because God puts his anointing in his anointed vessels, and then God releases that anointing to you. So, what I need you to see now, I need you to see Jesus here, and that Jesus has heard your prayers. As you have come to where the fire of God is, you've come to the anointing, he is answering your prayer now. Now. It's springing up now. Hallelujah. Your healing and your deliverance is happening now. Right now. So I want you to see Jesus here. Hallelujah. Because he is the only one that can heal and deliver you. The power of God. So as he is healing and delivering you, even though, you know, we, we ask, but the, the word of God says that it's the anointing, the power of God that destroys the yokes. So we see in the Bible we have Peter. Peter, people would position themselves where he was going to walk so his shadow could heal things. We understand it wasn't Peter. Peter was the vessel. But the power of God that was operating in them, the shadow of God, the power got through the shadow was overpowering them. Even with Paul, he said, Paul, the way God was moving with him, that so heavily, the anointing that was on Paul, he would would move through the handkerchiefs. Handkerchief would be in place on people and they would get in healed. It's no power in the handkerchief, but it's the power of God through these things. Hallelujah. So we understand that as you position yourself here, it's no different than Paul's shout. Lord God, the Bible says, as we believe, we will cast out devils in his name. We will walk on serpents. In other words, demons will under our feet in his name. We'll speak in new tongues and if we drink in a harmful thing in his name it's not going to hurt us but he also said and you'll lay hands on the sick and they shall recover in my name. So because he puts his anointing in his vessels I want you to know that your, the time has come now. The new thing that he's doing now is happening for you now. So those things that you've announced God is going to heal, but you got to believe that he's doing it now. So it's not he's going to do it. It's happening now. Glory to God. I renounce vertigo. I renounce high blood pressure. And I renounce diabetes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And in Jesus' name, I completely break every generational curse off of your life from your mother's side. From your father's side. I completely break it and remove it now in Jesus' name. I completely detach you from everything that you have renounced. I completely detach you from high blood pressure. I completely detach you from that spirit of vertigo. I completely detach you from that spirit called diabetes in Jesus' name. I completely detach you from that spirit of death that comes in through these spirits because its plan is to steal, kill, and to destroy. I completely remove it and detach it from you now in the name of Jesus. And on three, I command every one of you spirits that came in and every spirit, every combination spirit that came in with it, I command you to go and I command you to leave in the order in which you came in on three in Jesus name one two three out in Jesus mighty name command you to go now hallelujah in Jesus mighty name hallelujah he's touching you now he's touching you now just receive it receive his touch hallelujah thank you Jesus you, Lord. I command every hurt, every pain that this woman of God has been through. I command you to leave her now by the power of the living God. Every hurt, every pain, every traumatic experience that she has undergone, I command you to leave her now in the name of Jesus. 
post-traumatic stress, I command you out of her now in Jesus' name. The hurt and the grief, hallelujah, even from her father, I command you to leave now. Glory to God right now in the name of Jesus. Every hurt, every pain, even from siblings, hallelujah, brothers and sisters, I command you to leave her now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even the deep hurt and the pain and the wound, glory to God, from the passing of her children, I command you to leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus. Every bit of unforgiveness, every bit of resentment, hallelujah, every wrong thing, every wrong word that was ever said, every, that was ever pronounced over her, I command you to go from her now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even the thing, the disconnect between her mother and her, I command you to go from her now in the name of Jesus. You must leave. You cannot be here. Hallelujah. You must go. You must leave now in Jesus' name. That spirit of being misunderstood, that spirit of doubt, hallelujah, that spirit of worry and stress and fear, I command you out by the power of the living God. You cannot be here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That spirit of anxiety and restlessness, you must go. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, the spirit of God heals her. The love of God heals her right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Every hardship that you've undergone and left residue, the pain, the hurt, and it had left footprints in your soul. I command you by the power of the living God, you must leave her now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your touch right now. All spirits of offense. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that there is some unforgiveness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sometimes we can have it there. And we can, we can think sometimes that it is gone. But sometimes the enemy has a sneaky way. Glory to God. Do you want to renounce those? Even things that you may have already renounced. Remember, it is the anointing that destroys the yokes. Positioning yourself where the power of God is, is what destroys those yokes. Hallelujah. Today is your day. Thank you, Lord. Can I even go on to let you know that God told me this day was coming just this week? Hallelujah. You didn't call me. You didn't tell me you were coming. But God said, hallelujah, get ready to pray for her. Hallelujah. He said it. Hallelujah. Is he a man that he shall lie? Absolutely not. He said today is your day to be healed. Today is your day to be fully delivered and set free. Hallelujah. If you allow him to do it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And this is one of the keys to do it, renouncing it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes.
pronounced. I detach you from it now in Jesus' name. And I command every one of those spirits that came in, it must leave you now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of guilt, every spirit of hurt, every spirit of pain, every spirit came in to make you feel like you wasn't good enough, you was not a good mother. I command every last one of those spirits to leave you now. Every haunting spirit, every spirit that came to harass you in your mind, I command it to leave you now in Jesus. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying is not forgive yourself. God has forgiven you. I have forgiven you. Hallelujah. Now God is saying forgive yourself. Thank you, Jesus. That's how we give the devil a black eye. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because what, what, what the Lord was showing me, and this is such a beautiful moment, nobody but God could do it. See, what the Lord was showing me was the enemy was in this thing the whole way. So what the enemy did was he brought dissension between you and your mother. Hallelujah. But the dissension started with your mother and her mother. Hallelujah. The things that happened to your mother when she was a little girl. That her mother had no knowledge of. There was nothing she could do about it. But what happened was that hurt and the anger grew in her and it caused the disconnect, that's the word, to happen between grandmother and your mama, right? And because it wasn't healed in your mother, it's like a generational cycle that was passed on to you. And so the enemy was sure to make something happen so that there would be a disconnect between you and me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then he wanted not to stop there because he wants this thing to be a domino's effect through the bloodline. But then he wanted the disconnect to always be there in your home and, and raising it even with your sisters and your brothers. He wanted you to feel like an outcast, like nobody loved you, like nobody understood you, like you was just this black sheep just thrown over in, in, in the field somewhere. That's what that's the enemy. That's what he wanted to do. Then he wanted to come on down the bloodline and he wanted to try to do that with me and my children. But he's a liar and the truth has never been in him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because this moment is such a beautiful moment because healing is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Grandma didn't get the healing that she needed. She probably didn't even know she needed to be. She probably didn't even know what to do with those feelings. She didn't know. She didn't know. We wasn't taught. We didn't know. But she did the best she knew how to do. Thank you, Lord. Just like you did the best you knew how to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God sees it. He knows it. And he showed me. He showed me so I could see. So I wouldn't hold a grudge any longer. Because I held it until I was able to see till God was able to show me. But when he showed me, Hallelujah. You have to let that go. Because people do the best they know how to do with what they've been given. And whatever circumstances you had, you did the best you knew how to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So God is saying now, you got to forgive yourself. Hallelujah. You got to forgive yourself. Because the enemy, you're healed now. But if you don't forgive yourself, you're going to give the enemy permission when you go home to harass you and he's a liar because this moment God set this moment up he sent you it's not by chance he already showed me hallelujah thank you Lord he already showed me hallelujah it's okay it's okay hallelujah no parent comes into this world with a handbook and knows exactly what to do it's all by trial and error hallelujah even for the thing that happened to me that sexual abuse that happened to me. Listen, listen, listen. Nobody knows what they would have done being in a parent's shoes. We can all say what, yeah, I would have done it, but you don't know until you're in those shoes. You had a son, hallelujah, and you had your daughter who you both loved. Come on, you both loved. So it's like, Lord, what, what do I do? It feels like possible.
possibly, I got to choose between my son and my daughter. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So nobody knows what they would have done in that situation. Thank you, Lord. But I believe you did the best you knew how to do in that moment. And that's okay. That's okay. Hallelujah. That's okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because guess what? Even though the enemy felt like, you know what? I'm going to let this happen and I'm going to take you down. That's what he thought was going to happen. Uh -uh. <laughs> because there's a saying that when we get lemons, we take them lemons and we make lemonade. If we can get a lemon meringue pie, throw a pie in too. <laughs> in other words, what we're doing is we're using that of what the enemy tried to use to destroy this family. Tried to destroy James. Tried to destroy you, Wendy, myself. He tried to destroy. But what we doing? We said, oh, uh, uh, uh. We're going to use that or what you thought you was going to destroy. And we're going to go and we're going to disciple and help other people. That's the biggest black eye. But let me tell you, the other biggest black eye is forgiveness. Because he never meant for the disconnect to be connected. Hallelujah. He never meant that. But God say, I have a perfect plan. I got a plan. Hallelujah. Because this right here, this day, thank you, Jesus, is a new beginning of forgiveness. It is a new beginning of connection. Because it's when we can acknowledge, that's all God wants us to do. When we acknowledge it, he said, I take it and I throw it. In the sea of forgiveness, never to remember But what the devil should have did, he should have killed me when he had the chance. But see, now <laughs> it's a lost cause because now we're going to use those things to be a blessing, to let people see what real forgiveness is about. To see when the devil tried to come in, he when we say he has no power, he doesn't have power unless we give it to him. Love completely destroys the devil. Forgiveness completely destroys the devil. So this day, oh mother, you have given him the biggest black eye ever, ever, ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I hear him saying, even in this moment, forgive your mother. Thank you, Lord. Forgive your mom. Thank you, Jesus. Because when people, when, when you're hurt and you're a little kid and you don't understand these things, and maybe you call for mom and mama couldn't hear you, she wasn't there. Whatever the case was, forgive her for the things that she didn't know. Forgive her for the things that she did know. Hallelujah. Because even from the grave, because it's not about what forgiveness does for her. It can do nothing for her. But forgiving her brings life and joy and peace and happiness to you. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying to forgive your father because there's something in you that says, Daddy, you left me. When nobody else understood, you were the only one who understood me and you left me. Hallelujah. I hear him saying, forgive your daddy. Forgive him. Forgive him. It wasn't his choice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Forgive him. Forgive him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my God. Yes, my Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But see, the enemy was able to take all of this hurt and pain, and he was able to use it. But today, God is saying, I'm healing my daughter. I'm healing my daughter. I'm healing her. I kept her for a reason. Hallelujah. It's not coincidental you're the only sibling left out of your family. It's not a coincidental I'm the only sibling in my brothers and sisters that are left. That's not coincidental. God said he has a plan. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But I hear him say, forgive your parents. Hallelujah. It wasn't his choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'd have been here forever 
if he could have. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So in this moment, all you have to do is just say, I renounce any unforgiveness to my mother and my father. I renounce, I renounce any unforgiveness toward my parents. Even in my prayers, I thank God for my mother and my father. Like he said, nobody's given them handbook on how to raise a child. We do the best we know how. Understand all of this, all of what you said not, not long ago. Didn't understand it that way, but God's been with me for a long time as a young parent. God's simply called it out to me. I guess I thought I was saved then, but I, I really wasn't saved. It's a lot, like you said, it's a lot. We were we was we wasn't taught. You know, in a bring it up, so how can you know? Uh, it's so much. I feel like I could even write a book on, on my life, but I'm not a writer. <laughs> but I, I was led here. I was led here today. I'm thinking about it all week long. And then this morning, you know, in service, I, I, I was playing the piano, and I, in service, I was over with. The spirit was on this song. I got, I tried to get up from the organ. Every time I tried to get up, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get up. I just, I just couldn't get up. All I could do was just sit there and cry. And someone coming over to me, what, what's wrong? And they ain't nothing wrong. There ain't nothing wrong, you know. But I still continued trying to get up, and I couldn't get up. God is so good. God is so good. He's such a good God. I knew something was on it, but I didn't. I didn't know what it was. That's the Lord of your service. Just, I just had a good spirit while I was finishing out cooking. And I was just praising God. I kept looking at the clock. I said, I don't want to block the past. Be proud. So, so I, I made it here. And, you know, I feel good. Though. I, feel, I really feel good. And I thank God. I thank God for you. I just thank God for you. And I'm asking God that don't you let nothing, nothing deter you from what you're doing. Don't let nothing deter you. Because if, if God said it to you, you just believe it. And do what I say to the Lord. And because uh, I knew from Ever since you was a small child, that you were special. I knew that. I think I told you that before. I knew you were special. And then I knew I was special. You know what? I can't explain that either, but I knew it. And I thank God for that. I really thank God for that. If I'm hurt, if somebody hurt me or whatever, I don't try to hurt back. Because that's not my job. You know, I had to learn that over the years, though. Because I remember that one time, I would have got you back. Regardless of what. Pray for him. Turn on to the Lord. I, I just thank God. I thank God for being here today. Oh, I renounce any unforgiveness that I had. I, I am forgiven myself. I got to be free. I gotta be free. Every generational curse from her mother's side, from her father's side, over to God, where the whether the, the the parents and the children, where there was a disconnect, I completely break every generational curse of that all for your life now. All for this family's blood. Now I break it now in Jesus' name. That place of chaos and drama and disconnect going on, hallelujah, between parents and children. I break it now in the name of Jesus. And I completely detach you from every hurt and pain from your mom, 
from your dad and even the forgiveness of yourself, every bit of unforgiveness toward different people, I completely detach you from it now in the name of Jesus. And on three, I command every spirit that came in, I command you to leave her now, every harassing spirit. Hallelujah. I command you to go from her now and in the order in which you came in, in Jesus' mighty name. One, two, three. Out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of guilt, every spirit of embarrassment, every spirit of hurt, Every spirit of deep hurt, every spirit that came in to make you feel like you were not good enough. Hallelujah, like nobody loved you. This black sheep syndrome, I command it to go from you now. Hallelujah, now in Jesus' name. Even feeling like you were abandoned and lonely, I command it out now in Jesus' mighty name. Go now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare you, woman of God, that you are free in the name of Jesus. This day, you are free, hallelujah, by the power of the living God and by the love of Jesus, the love that he has for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hear him saying that you're here because he heard your prayers. Hallelujah. He heard the prayers of your grandmother. Hallelujah. He heard the prayers of persons that were praying for you, but also your prayers. And he said that I am a prayer answering God in my timing, in my timing. Hallelujah. In my timing. Thank you, Jesus. And now is his timing. He's such a perfect God. Hallelujah. Such a perfect God. So now in Jesus' name, with God, I decree and declare you are completely free from everything you renounce. Completely free. 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 Free in Jesus' name. The fire of God. Hallelujah. That helps you to be able to resist the attacks of the enemy and his power, his anointing, his fire on you. Now in the name of Jesus, I baptize you now in the fire of the Holy Spirit. Receive his fire now. Receive it now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive the fire of the true and the living God. I baptize you now. Hallelujah. Receive it. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. With the power of the Holy Ghost. Be filled now in Jesus' name. And I now loose upon you peace. I loose upon you joy. I loose upon you real happiness. Hallelujah. Real happiness. Real joy. Real peace. Real abundant life. Hallelujah. Life be unto you. I hear him saying live. He's saying live as he spiritually resuscitates you now. Live, 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 live in the abundance of life. Glory to God. I hear him say go. Thank you, Jesus. Like he told the woman, hallelujah, where she had all the accusers. They were coming to accuse her of adultery. And God looked around and he said, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. And when he looked around, he said, woman, where are your accusers? She said, I have none. He said, well, I accuse you not either. He said, go and sin no more. And that's what I hear the spirit of the Lord saying now. Go and sin no more, which simply means don't be yoked back to the things of the enemy. Hallelujah. Be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God a huge praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You feel good. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Praise God. I'm so glad to be in the house of God.
Yeah, this the spirit of the Lord just been on me. Oh, I thank God, you know, for being here. This is my second service. I had some issues, you know, I had to kind of deal, deal with and go through uh -huh. with. I denounced uh, some things to take out of my life. And I feel good. I, I, I feel good about it today. He has freed me from a, a lot of different things, you know. In my life, he really has freed me. From some bad things that's been going on in my life from the time I was a little child, I'm up to when my daddy died, my mama died, my grandma died, and then all my siblings died, my, my two of my children died, and just he really just has freed me, you know. Cause I guess I was carrying a whole lot of guilt, you know. And I just thank God. That he has freed me from all of that, from all the uh, worries and frustrations that you know I've been going up, going through with. Cause you know Satan is tricky. He get you in sometimes when, when you when you when you get in bed at night, he he get you just to bring them things back up to you. But I always kick him out. I was kicking him out every time. Cause and I thank God for that. He gave me the knowledge, you know, through. Your mama's ministry, really, to be able to, to close some of those doors. I, think, I just thank God for Jesus tonight. And I thank God for all of you here. And I love the Lord. Yes, yes, I just thank God for such a beautiful healing and deliverance that he did between my mother. She was able to renounce some things, you know, things that happened, even some things that I share about, you know, even in my childhood, that the enemy was trying to use to harass her, to make her feel like she wasn't a good mother, to make her feel like she didn't do her best, but we thank God that as she began to renounce those things, God began to heal and deliver her, and we thank God because I even felt that, uh, I felt a release even myself because, you know, it's generational, and so even as she was renouncing, I felt the, the weight lift. Because what the enemy was trying to do was use us against each other. He was trying to use a disconnect there for years because of some things that happened. But it go even even far greater than that. Even things that happened generational with her mother's mother, her and her mother, and he tried to bring it with between me and my mother and tried to move it on down. But today, Hallelujah, the enemy was completely kicked in the eye. I hallelujah, glory to God. He's a slow <laughs> He is a slow-footed life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so today, glory to God. Hallelujah. What a beautiful God. healing and deliverance Amen. that has taken place today. And we thank God for what he's done, even thank in this God. relationship, and just being able to show the power of forgiveness. Because yes. as those things were renounced, this relationship is being healed even the more, even now. And it shows the love and the power of the true of the living God. So yes. that's what the yes. enemy yes. thought he was going to do. Jesus. <laughs> It didn't work. Oh, <laughs> and one it more didn't thing. work. You know, he had me thinking, man, my daughter didn't really love me. Wow. He, he, he did. Wow. But, you know, through this teaching today, I, I learned differently. But it was the enemy. That's what the enemy yeah. does. He comes in to Thank confuse, you. to steal, kill, and destroy, yeah. to put people against each other because he doesn't want relationship. He doesn't want yes. unity. But today, his lies was dismantled Glory in Jesus' name. Glory. Hallelujah. So Glory. we no longer listen to the lies of Jesus. the enemy. And regardless Glory. to what has happened, you know my story. Part of my story was sexually abused. You know, and because of those things, anger, resentment, all that kind of stuff I had from my mother. But God even began to show me even years ago. Jesus. Hallelujah. How this how was the enemy that we're using those things to keep us separated, to keep us apart. But today, as God moved upon her heart Lord to God. come and begin to renounce those things, even as she began to renounce. Hallelujah. Things are being free even the more. Thank even you the more. Thank you, but God. I want you to know Thank that even God. as God has shown mm. this thing to me even prior, mm. I've already forgiven you. But it needed to be made right within your spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Within mm -hmm. your spirit. Mm -hmm. And God mm -hmm. did that today. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to know, I want everybody to know the power of forgiveness is real. It's mm -hmm. real. It's real. Mm -hmm. And because of that power of forgiveness, we are set free I completely want, in Jesus. And I want y'all to know that the devil is real too. <laughs> you might not believe it. The devil is real. But 
God is real also. Hallelujah. And God is more powerful yes. than the enemy. And we give God yes. all the glory for what he's done today. And don't ever forget that the devil, God gave us power over the devil. He didn't give the devil power over us. Amen. And today, so, we've used our authority yes. to kick the devil yes. in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. And we're healing and delivering in <laughs> Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Wow, right? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. What an encounter. What an experience. What a beautiful touch of God. The power of God. An amazing, beautiful deliverance that was. Woo! God is so amazing. And you can see why it's so super special to me now, right? About 10 years ago, I had a come to Jesus moment with my mom. And so um, as God was beginning to heal me and deliver me, it showed me many things concerning you know, that particular sensitive situation. And so he began to do a work on the inside of me and show me things from the inside out. And so I was able to see so clearly as God was, was showing me many things concerning uh, this particular situation. So. So in having to come to Jesus moment with my mom, I talked with her, sat her down, I talked with her, you know, let her know how I felt about things. And I also let her know that I forgave her. Amen. This has been at least 10 years ago. Let her know that I have forgiven her. And so I believe, I believe that she received it. You know, she heard that she received it. But I just don't think at that time she was really ready. All right. You know, she wasn't quite ready to deal with that. But as you can see, <laughs> Yesterday, as we witnessed this, she was ready. Her God had prepared her heart. She was ready to deal with the situation. And as she was ready, it was so beautiful. It was so amazing to watch her surrender to God and to watch her just, you know, be so filled, you know, to the point where she's like, listen, I got to get this. I got to, I got to get this off. I got to be free. I have to be free. And so I just want you to know that even in the midst of that, God was just so awesome because a few days prior, God had showed me and said, you're going to be praying for your mom. You know, it showed me that. And so, you know, I was so thankful and so grateful for that. But even beyond that, a couple of years ago, you know, one of the things that I was praying for as it relates to my mom was that I wanted my mom to be free. I could see that she was carrying a heavy burden and just some inside things was going on, but I wanted her to be free. Can I say to you that even in this revival, this the promises of God are already unfolding and coming to pass because that was one of the promises that God had promised me that she would be free. And I thank God for this, this beginning, hallelujah, as she has went forth and has started her journey to freedom. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to God. But she was also free from some other um, bondages that were there that even happened from her childhood. God was freeing her even from that. And so it was just so beautiful and so amazing. And so I remember the first layer of forgiveness began about 10 years ago when I had a come to Jesus moment with my mom and I went to her and began to share, you know, some way to express myself on how I felt about some things. And I also let her know that I had forgiven her. And so that was the first layer of forgiveness. And so the second layer came about five years later, back in 2019 at the releasing of uh, my new book, which was called um, at that time, The Naked Truth. So even at that conference, I began to share my testimony for the very first time publicly. And so even there, you know, I had my mom to come up and, you know, second layer was, you know, to share my story, but also to, to let her know that I, I truly forgiven her, even from a public standpoint, you know? And so I think the third layer of forgiveness came uh, yesterday as we were witnessing. I had the honor to witness and to be a part of her beautiful surrender and her beautiful deliverance. God is so, so amazing. And can I say to you that you're never too advanced in years to surrender and to make things right with loved ones. You're never too advanced in age to have your come to Jesus moment with your loved ones, with your family, with your children, with your wife, with your husband, with friends, with whomever. But you're never too advanced in age. You're certainly never too young. But now, now, 
Now is the time of revival. Now is the time that God is, is healing. He's delivering. He's setting free. We're seeing miracle signs and wonders. God is, is setting his people free truly. Now is the time. Now is the time. There's nothing else to wait on. Now is the time. God has released his revival. Can I also say to you that forgiveness, unity, and harmony is one of the greatest weapons against the enemy? <laughs> you saw at the end with me and my mom, we was like, we just <clears throat> gave the devil a black eye. Well, I hope we gave him two black eyes. I hope piece of his head was just hanging off. <laughs> Amen. But I'm here to tell you that forgiveness, unity, harmony, and relationship is one of the most beautiful weapons against the enemy. What am I saying? Love is one of the greatest weapons against the enemy. The power of forgiveness. God is restoring families in this revival, but this is your year. Hallelujah. This is your year to receive the promises of God as he is releasing them in this 2023. And so right now you may be saying, you know what? I see how God is restoring this mother and daughter relationship. God is a God who can do it for you as well. He is a God who is restoring fathers and sons and all types of relationships, family relationships, marriages. Come on. He is more than able to to do it. Glory to God. And we're so thankful because he is doing it and he's doing it now. Maybe you were holding some unforgiveness or resentment in your heart for someone. Maybe someone did you wrong. Maybe there was some type of abuse that happened to you. Whatever the case is, can I say to you, it's not worth carrying. It's not worth that weight being on you because it serves absolutely no purpose. We're here. We're living in the whole truth of the Lord. And the truth is, is that God is our healer. He is our redeemer. Yes, we understand things happen. Life happens. We understand that. But we want you to understand even greater than that is that God is a healer and he is healing right now. So if that is you and you want to release Hallelujah. You're ready to forgive. Maybe this is your come to Jesus moment. And if so, I just ask you to surrender now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is saying, if you will surrender to him and allow him to heal you and to deliver you the way he wants to, he is more than ready to do it. Come on. You ready? Begin now as you surrender yourself. Say, God, I surrender to you. Hallelujah. Heal me any way you choose to, however you want to. I won't fight you. I won't resist you. I give you my heart. I come to you. I love you. Hallelujah. And I want you to reign in my life now and forevermore. Glory to God. And that's just an example of surrendering. But you surrender in your own way. And so now if you want to just speak those things that you want to renounce, you, you, you want out of your life, unforgiveness, resentment, grudges, you know, anger, whatever that thing is, just begin to speak it out right now. Begin to speak it out right now. Hallelujah. Begin to speak it out now. God is ready. Hallelujah. He's been waiting on this moment. He's ready. He's ready to heal you and to deliver you. And as you have spoken those words, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for this time. We thank you that this revival is restoring individuals. It's restoring relationships. It is bringing unity. It is bringing harmony. It is bringing love. Hallelujah. And God, we're so thankful. And so as your dear loved one has renounced right now in Jesus' name, I completely remove and detach every bit of that from you. Break every generation of curse off of your life. Completely remove those things that you have renounced right now in Jesus' name. All unforgiveness must go. Resentment must leave. Anger must go right now. Grudges, hallelujah, must leave. Bitterness, malice must go now. Hallelujah. Every negative spoken word that you have spoken from your lips must leave now. Every negative untruth that has been spoken against you, I command it to go now in the name of Jesus, right now. Hallelujah. Every word curse, leave now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every hurt, every pain, every 
traumatic experience that has taken place in your life, I command you to leave right now and go in Jesus' name. Every spirit of abandonment, every spirit that comes in to say you're not good enough, nobody loves you, nobody cares about you, I command you to leave right now in Jesus' name. You are the biggest liar ever, and we command you out now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And right now, I decree and declare, I speak healing to you now. I release and loose that healing to you now. Receive the anointing of healing right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Hallelujah. It is yours and it is done. And I decree and declare you're healed. You're healed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So from now, hallelujah, go forth. Like you are healed because you are. And don't be entangled, hallelujah, to that bondage ever again. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Who the Son has set free, the Bible says, is free indeed. You are free and you're free indeed. Be free. Live like you're free. Hallelujah. Love like you are free because you are in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. God bless you. Thank you for being here on this Tuesday night teach. And we just say have a wonderful week. May the blessings of the Lord chase you down and run you over in Jesus name. Amen.